These are the two steps of mastering a sport. What you saw first was just basic. When you saw me juggling two shuttles at once, that's mastery, which took some time, innovation and consistent practice. Don't you all here agree with me for the fact that this is not just for sports, it implies for life skills too? Before I move on, I would like to define what prosperity means to me. Although the dictionary meaning says it's about financial security, but I really like the other synonyms which I found, which is fortune, welfare, abundance and well-being. It was the last thing which I was more and more deeply engaged in. Moving on, so why do you think <coughs> playing a sport could be a life skill? There are over 600 skeletal muscles in a human body. An average person uses very few muscles efficiently on a day-to-day -day basis. This also means that the mental and physical health of that average person is on the lower side. A study from Kurukshetra University suggests that there is a significant increase in the levels of a mental and physical health of that people who play sports and those who don't. So now, how many of you have played badminton here? Quite a lot of hands. So some facts about badminton. Badminton is the world's fastest racket sport and the second most played sport in the world. It requires quick reflexes and fast reactions and if played on a regular basis, you can keep your body and mind fit and agile. Let me give you my background. So I started playing this sport at the age of 12. When I started this pl playing this sport, I went through a lot of coordination, timing and movement skills. For an average person, it takes around 6 months or more to get used to these techniques. Badminton changed me in many ways. It disciplined me, it taught me how to manage time and made me focused and stay focused and committed to the process. As a young player, I traveled to different parts of the cities. It helped me to become an extrovert and I learned to converse in six different languages. In retrospection, I realized that these skills not only helped to improve my game, but also shaped me as a person. <clears throat> After participating in different levels of competition, one question popped up in my mind. How will I jump from national to international levels? What does it really take to become a top player? You see, a top level player is coached differently. They are trained to tactically strategize their every single move in an every single rally. A powerful smash can come at a speed of 400 kilometers per hour. The player must anticipate the incoming shuttle, defend the smash and place it in a position which becomes very difficult for the opponent to reciprocate. And all this is to be done in a matter of a split second. For me, this split second decision making skill is a true mark of innovation. <clears throat> Two decades ago, a powerful smash used to be considered as end of the rally. A smash which is placed on the sidelines, technically players could not receive that. But today's sport is something like this. Let us watch a video. As the game evolved, players found new innovative techniques to beat their opponents and succeed. 
back at my academy a day is reserved in a week to be innovative players have their free space to be creative on one such innovation day a 9 year old kid wanted to feed wanted to multi feed an advanced level player who was much elder to him those who don't know what multi feed is multi feeding is a technique which a coach or a trainer uses tens of shuttles in his hand and constantly hit at a speed to improve the player's speed and movements on court let us watch how this kid achieved that it took only two attempts for this young 9 year old kid to execute the drill which usually takes a lot of repetitive practice it is very important for children in the age group between 7 to 14 to explore their capabilities to test their limits and create a fearlessness approach for one example to give you everybody knows here who is pv sindhu She has recently won gold medal at the World Badminton Championships 2019. So to give an example of fearlessness approach, I just picked up what she said about the statement. The BWF final throw fresh challenges and I am prepared for them. That's why it is important for young children to create an awareness in themselves and bring a sense of fearlessness approach because at early age there is a hormonal explosion <coughs> which needs an outlet talking about hormones in the body if you regularly engage in physical activities or playing a sport like badminton your body secretes certain hormones like endorphins and serotonin where endorphins trigger positivity and gets you feel good factor serotonin will create a sense of well-being no matter your age you will become cheerful and confident you will become highly energetic disciplined and focused in your day-to-day -day activities one of the common most most common feedback i receive from my players parents is that their kid has not only become focused and disciplined in badminton but they have also become focused in their home and in their school and they have and they have uh, started to make conscious accurate decisions if this is true for children how about how i would really like to consider how playing sports regularly can help adult people like you and me so now let us understand how the decision making abilities can help you adult people like you and me <clears throat> a team sorry complex sport such as badminton is good for your brains it requires more thinking than other sports like running and cycling a team at tohoku gakuyun university of japan suggests that a badminton players are not only required to grasp the speed and orbit of the shuttle but also to anticipate and gauge the spatial position of the opponent to perform an appropriate response so these cognitive demands activate certain regions of your brains which are responsible for executive functionings now executive functionings executive functions are responsible for planning organizing initiating tasks regulating emotions and keeping self control when you constantly engage in these sort of exercises our brain starts to develop a cognitive performance and our decision making agility enhances over a period of time our decision making ability improves and probability of our positive outcome increases 
and for a sport like in badminton it's all in split second now uh, now i want you all to imagine in your real life scenario sometimes one single decision can change your entire course of your life life doesn't come with a user manual or a demo video although our body is the only permanent place we live until the end it's better we utilize this great combination as a gift when you learn the art of innovation be creative and make smarter decisions in your life i think this is when you start to lead a prosperous life what's your choice